Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the layout designer in Plumco DRP. Now this layout designer uh, in uh, Plumco DRP helps you to design the financial documents uh, which are available in Plumco DRP. Which are the financial documents uh, like uh, the stock transfer, the credit note, the debit note, opening balance, purchase estimates, the purchase order, delivery notes, material receipts are few of the documents that you can design in layout designer. Now how to open up the uh, layout designer? Go to utilities. Under utilities we have the layout designer over here. So once after you do the design in this layout designer and then you can open up that those particular form like uh, if it is a purchase uh, invoice go to the purchase purchase invoice uh, then we can print from the purchase invoice so this is actually uh, this I'll just show you the demo once after we design a uh, layout uh, and then we'll uh, do a print out as well like uh, we'll not a printout in the sense uh, we'll uh, generate a pdf file and now since my laptop is not connected to any printer so from here uh, this purchase invoice you can just click the print so this uh, we'll do uh, by, uh, towards the end of the video okay coming back to the layout designer first we'll open up a new uh, layout maybe a uh, sales return I'll select the sales return now there is a, uh, a peculiarity with the files uh, which we open up here the extension of each and every uh, document will be like uh, the first letter of uh, the this one uh, the first word like if it is sales written S R R E T or if it is sales invoice it will be S I N V if it is a purchase invoice, it will be P I N V. So this is how the naming of the files goes. And now, if it is a sales written, press the sales written, and then just select a uh, say select. So this is how a blank layout designer is going to look like. Uh, I'll just spread the uh, section so that I can add the objects and uh, show you how it is supposed to be added and uh, how to work on it the first object is a pointer as it says uh, it's just a pointer to select objects next we have the bind field before that we'll come to the text field and then come back to the bind field in the text field it's just a simple text field it's similar to that of the text fields uh, that uh, you will be finding in the crystal report and all so once if you click on the text field the cursor changed to a plus sign and with a small rectangular sign below it if you can see it i'm just moving it so uh, what i got to do is click on the object then come to the report and click on the report and then drag it to whichever size you want to and later on you can definitely alter the size and the height of it so this is a text field and these are the properties of the text field like alignment, background color, color, convert number to Arabic, uh, numerals, font, font and all can be changed uh, to a bigger size if you want. And uh, these are the options that you find in normal word documents. The same um, alteration you can do here as well. And to change the content, what is uh, to be displayed in the uh, text field. I'm just going to change it as company name. So this is the place where you change the, the text of the text field. Next we have the visibility condition which states whether the subject is supposed to be viewed or not. That can be set with the help of visibility condition property. Next we will come to the bind field. Now the difference between the bind field is, uh, is just uh, an additional property called bind field again it is supposed to be added the same way now if you see the bind field we have something called bind field property over here so here there will be n number of uh, variables which are used in the program and which you want to display it 
on the document you just got to select whichever value you want to display on the document from here like if it is a voucher number you can just press v and see if voucher number is voucher number is definitely there okay uh, here the voucher number is not there because uh, this is actually voucher number and all will be there will be added in the page header section because it's it appears uh, only once the voucher number and all need to be appearing only once so here if you add a bind field here you can find voucher number batch number vehicle number yeah here it is the voucher number is here so for so you got to take care of the variables which will be listed um, associated with the bind fields all the all the variables won't be uh, accessed in all the sections whichever is applicable to be appeared uh, to be appearing in the page header will be appearing in the page header and the one which is supposed to be de uh, repeated like the product product name product codes product code so these particular field, those fields and all uh, which 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 are being repeated will be appearing in the detail section And uh, this one can be serial number. Okay. Now we have footer, which you want, uh, which uh, whatever the fields you want to appear in the footer section can be added in footer. Before that, we just stopped uh, near. I mean, the bind field got over, right? Next is a special field. Under the special field, again, it is supposed to be added in the same way. In the special fields, we have. Uh, different pro uh, property apart uh, different from that of uh, the bind field and the text field is the special field over here here the additional values uh, which can be assigned is page number total pages print time print date print copy so these are the fields uh, that we usually wanted to be appearing in the footer section this I, I shall remove it from here and uh, put the special field either in the summary or the footer so this is where it is a, it should be uh, the print date and print copy and all can be printed in the footer special field is over and next is the line next line just got to be uh, just got to click over the line and then click it and drag it you have a line added to the document and next is the rectangle just got to add uh, this way even the rectangle is added next we have the rounded rectangle where the corners of it are a bit uh, rounded round shaped next we have the bind image the bind image is simply like there is a bind field associated with the bind field and then the image is a dynamic one which you can load from this particular field image and in the bind field you can select whatever the field you want to associate this bind field to next we have the image the constant the constant one like the one which is not going to change that you can add here like the logo of a company which is not going to change in any of the documents there you can use image next we have something called barcode which you want to be appear appearing in the uh, documents the sales invoice and all so here the options is the properties which is the property which is different from the rest of the objects is barcode format and there we have options called code 1 to 8 then the QR code QR code medium QR code high and if I change to this QR code it's going to appear in a different way different image so this is how the QR code will look like then we have something called expression now expression is a field which helps you to put condition certain conditions like uh, if the VAT VAT number is not equal to zero or VAT number is not equal to null or if the discount is uh, zero so those conditions and all you can put in in the expression field so this is where you got to add the expression field by clicking on this button 
here we have a lot of variables uh, which is uh, which can be used to create the expression and also many a uh, lot more function functions are also provided mathematical functions string functions have uh, been provided which can be added here and create the expression like some fields not equal to zero or greater than zero those fun um, those uh, expressions and all can be added here so that is about uh, that is all about the tools in the tools boxes uh, coming to the menu we have to the open we'll come back later and then save also we'll come back later okay now let's uh, remove uh, the object so click on the object that you want to remove I selected the image and then I'm going to remove it delete selected so the image got removed and now you can press the undo button so again it's going to come back next we have uh, next we have the prop uh, the options called send to back bring to friend so these uh, functionalities help you to send the objects to back back or to bring friend and the one which you have in the word documents as well then the print preview helps you to see the preview of the uh, the design that you create now if you have uh, if you have added uh, too many uh, text boxes and you want to have same um, height or alignment to be done the same way they can, then you can select the texts together and the objects together then go to this option and then you can say align right so both the this one are going to get aligned towards right oh, it will then we have something called same height I'll just uh, reduce the size of this this one okay then you can say make same height so whichever you select the first one that one's height is going to be the the second uh, objects as well so this is how you work with uh, layout designer you create the lay uh, the design uh, you design the documents the financial documents and you can of course uh, reuse the designs by just uh, renaming the uh, the extension of it, extension of the designs like for uh, if it is a sales invoice it will be dot sinv and if it is a sales return it will be sret so likewise uh, for all the documents it is like that just got to change the uh, the extension part of it next we have an option over here called import layout image in case you have a standard image that you want to be displayed on the on this uh, uh, layout you can just add it with the help of this button so you just got to click import layout and then select the jpeg file whichever is available or like um, now some, sometimes you want to add a watermark or like a background some image you can just uh, select that particular image and then click open and it will get aut automatically added to the layout design now I shall open the uh, the design that I have already created. For this, I'll just uh, remove all the objects. I'm going to add a uh, um, sales invoice. So I just click this plus button, and then sales invoice is what I'm going to add, and then click the select. In fact, it's the open button that you got to click uh, and open up the sales invoice which you have already designed and kept. And we got to select the sales invoice there which you have designed it. So this is the sales invoice which I already created. I'll just make it a little more wider. So here, we, as we can see, under the page header section, we have the report header the company name the company address and all will be coming uh, in this uh, section uh, sorry in this area and then we have the heading and then here this one is the expression 
लाइक इफ हियर द कंडीशन दैट इज गुड इज इफ द बैच इज नॉट इक्वल टू नॉल देन इट इज टैक्स इन वॉइस एंड इफ इट इज नॉल देन इट इज द सिंप्लीफाइड टैक्स इन वॉइस नेक्स्ट वी हैव फ्यू अदर फील्ड सच एज वैट नंबर द वॉच नंबर द इन वॉइस नंबर द इन वॉइस डेट एंड ऑल दीज आर फ्यू values which is being added in the page header section and now coming to the detail section we have serial number product code product name quantity unit then uh, sales rate discount amount taxable value vat total tax net amount and then as you can see some of the design uh, which are done with the help of this rectangular box and the lines are been added so that it appears uh, sorted when you take the print out and then below in the summary section we can see the salesman received signature and the total amount gross amount discount advance amount paid net amount the balance amount and all are displayed and with a qr code and then we have the uh, amount in words and then we have uh, the address at the bottom of the documents and uh, this is all about um, design layout designer now we shall see how uh, this uh, print uh, the print will look like when you are generating from a in uh, the form so it's a sales invoice so let's open the sales invoice we'll go to inventory under sales the sales invoice is over here or you got to just press the control plus s button when you are doing it for the first time when you are taking the print out for the first time always it will ask you to select the uh, layout designer uh, from the uh, from the design that you have created so here is the sales invoice we'll just go back to a um, few documents so that uh, there are enough and more products available to be printed let's say this one is number 480 is need to be printed so uh, just click the print button print records press yes now we'll have to give uh, a name for the pdf document which is being generated here it is showing printing page 1 of the document now since uh, this is not connected to any uh, printer it will not be getting print and here i am just going to put it as sample sample 2 okay see now we shall open the document the pdf file which just now got generated so this was the document So this is how the uh, sales invoice would uh, look like. The bill would look like uh, this one. You have uh, the QR code, the uh, the objects that we added in the footer, then the summary. So these, this was the one. This was the one which we designed and kept in the layout design. So this is all about uh, layout design. Uh, i hope uh, you understood this video and uh, there is not much of complications uh, however in case of any kind of uh, cl clarification you can definitely contact the technical team of plum coat it so thank you and have a nice day